When building a hearth, you must first obtain the specifications that is required for your specific stove. These may be found on the internet or from where the stove was purchased. Keep a copy on hand and use it for your minimum required measurements. Start by planning the size and shape of the hearth. Carefully measure and mark the perimeter of the planned hearth, mapping its position on the floor. Define the perimeter using painter's tape. It's also a good idea to tape around the base of the stove. Double check to make sure all measurements are accurate and square and that you are meeting the minimum requirements for coverage. Detach the stove pipe and remove the stove. I wanted my hearth to be around 8 to 9 inches in height. Therefore, I am using 2x6 lumber, knowing that I will later add plywood and stone. Clean the area of general debris and measure for the wall side of the hearth first. Cut the two wall side boards. If planning to butt one against the other instead of mitering, then one board will need to be cut a 2 by width shorter than the other. Making sure the two boards are square and symmetrical, screw the ends together using 4 inch exterior screws. Slide into place and secure it by screwing it into the wall studs and the bottom plate. Next, measure and cut the side pieces at equal length and screw to the ends of the wall boards. Finish building the perimeter by measuring and cutting the last piece. Due to the design, this board will need to be mitered on the ends at 45 degrees. Secure into place using the 4 inch screws. Now that the perimeter is finished, I can focus on building a heavy duty internal framework that will support the weight of the wood stove. With another mitered piece towards the back, I will create an internal box like structure that will be positioned central to the stove. Using the painter's tape as a guide, positioning and reinforcements will be done in the following manner. Begin the internal support using two parallel boards. Place over the tape and secure into place using the 4 inch deck screws. Next, I measured and cut the most important pieces. These are the pieces that will be positioned directly underneath the central weight of the base of the stove. My stove sits on front and back runners instead of legs, so these supports will span beneath the stove's runners. At this point, I need to plan for my future plywood that will create the floor at the end. My hearth is larger than one sheet of plywood. I will eventually have to cut a second piece of plywood to make up the difference. Where these two pieces meet together create a seam. That seam will need to land on a support piece. The rest of the framework is simply filling in the void with more supports, spacing them between 12 and 16 inches on center. Finally, make sure all the pieces have been well secured. The frame can now be covered using 3 quarter inch plywood. Simply lay the plywood in position, strike a mark on the overhanging corner, and cut to fit using a circular saw. Return this piece to the frame then measure, mark, and cut the second piece. If no more adjustments are needed, remove the plywood and apply general purpose construction adhesive to the surface of each support. Quickly return the plywood to the frame and secure in place using 2 inch deck screws. The hearth is now complete and can be covered with your desired finish. Depending on the material and the technique, an additional layer of concrete board may be required for the surface. In the case of this project, mesh and mortar was used.